Hey, what is going on guys? So today I just want to show you my finished work here on the cup noodle kit. Finally, I know like the work in progress videos have been like months in between. It's been kind of very sporadic, but it's just kind of been a kit that I've had here on the side. I've just kind of been working on here and there. Uh, and obviously if you guys have been keeping up with those series, you know that I wanted to do this kind of Machining Krieger style painting on it. And I think it came out pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with it. It's a fun little project. You know, it's a fun little kit. So I wanted to do something interesting and different with it. And I think it came out pretty well. In the last work in progress video, you guys saw me working on the lid here. So I just wanted to show you guys how that turned out. I, I want to say something I don't think that I talked about in the last work in progress video was just that it was tricky just to, you know, like just match the font. I had to find a font that would match close enough and then, you know, uh, lay that out and everything making the stencil, just cutting that out of paper and then cutting that out of uh, masking tape and laying that on there. So it's a little bit rough. You can see there's some rough bits there uh, from the stencil, but I think it ultimately kind of goes, you know, well enough with the whole kind of, I mean, the Machine Krieger painting in general is usually kind of rough. Now, this is meant to mimic like the box art, which is not necessarily always rough like that, but I'm pretty happy with that. I then put, uh, just did a little bit of like, just kind of like a gunk kind of uh, wash over the top of that as well too, just to kind of make that look a bit more convincing so you can see it's a little bit dirty and everything. Uh, silver on the underside of that, because I think usually the lids for ramen cups are usually silver on the underside because of like something to do with heating them and all of that, right? So again, you can see just a few of the Machine Krieger decals that I did place on there and around over here just for a little bit more added effect as well too. Also probably the other most challenging part aside from uh, the lid, which was actually you know something that was just kind of an afterthought that I wanted to do later on. It actually ended up kind of being one of the more challenging parts because making the whole mask and everything, bending the plastic and all that. Uh, the other challenging part was just painting all this red because I had to paint that all in by hand. I could have masked, or well, I guess, yeah, I could have masked it. That would have been even more difficult though, I think. Or I could have painted that separately because it is a separate part, uh, but I wanted to do it like all, uh, when the kit is actually all together just working on it all at once so you know it took a little bit more time to paint that all on by hand and working with lacquer so that you, you kind of can't really mess up uh, there were a few mess ups but I mean you just kind of had to go back and forth uh, painting this and so people were asking too about a little bit uh, how I painted the camo and how you get kind of a soft blend I'm still not very good at that and that's something that I need to figure out you know how to do better uh, as my experience progresses but to get kind of a somewhat softer blend between the two, you know, I'll just speak from my very limited experience is that uh, you just kind of have to go back and forth between the colors, painting the dark color and like bringing that dark color down a little bit and then kind of working it back, going in with a light color and working it back the other way a little bit and um, a little bit thinner paint as you go to. Uh, and so then like going back with a darker color and back with a lighter color and keep kind of going back and forth until you get kind of somewhat of a, a blend there. Uh, is kind of how I've been able to achieve somewhat of a convincing effect here, but like I said, still need to work on that, practice that a bit more as I go along. But other than that, guys, not too much else to say about this. So, I mean, after my last uh, Machine Krieger related project there, working on the Cooster, with that, I kind of emphasized in that 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 was very much uh, just for fun, that project. I mean, like the whole style of that project just being kind of very fun and playful. Uh, and then this one as well too, was obviously a very fun project as well too, painting some cup noodles in Machining, Machining Krieger pattern. I think that's one thing that I just really love about the Machining Krieger property. It does have this very like serious uh, side to it that they are like actual, there is a whole backstory and that they are actually like weapons of war and stuff. But I don't know, there's just this whole kind of fun uh, creative aspect to it as well too that I really enjoy. It's just kind of a chance to where Gumpla, I'm really enjoying making something that's very uh, creative and so kind of a little bit more of a technical uh, way. But this one, uh, like with Machine Krieger stuff, I feel it's a lot more enjoyable in the uh, in this kind of more loose, kind of free form creativity. It's a bit like like painting. I don't know. I guess it's sort of like. Uh, Gumpla is graphic design where Machine Krieger is like uh, fine arts painting, I guess, sort of, if you wanted to compare them, like comparing two different types of art creation, anyway, if that makes sense to you guys. I don't know, if, if you're into this kind of, if you're into Machine Krieger, maybe that makes sense to you, maybe you feel kind of the same way about it, but I don't know, that's just kind of how I, I enjoy it. So I really enjoy working on both, I mean, because it's just like the the whole creation part anyway, painting and everything, but they're definitely different and they give it kind of different feel and just enjoyable in different ways as well too. So really enjoy that. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Obviously there's not really a whole lot to it, but uh, what do you think? Uh, is it pretty cool or 
kind of silly. I don't know <laughs> what really you're going to say about it, but uh, just if you guys have any other questions or anything about it, do feel free to let me know down in the comment section below, of course. And as always, thank you to the Gundam Store for making it all possible, guys. We have this kit and uh, other Machine Krieger kits as well, too, if you, want to, if you guys want to check those out uh, or whatever else there on the site. The link to the Gundam Store down below and use that coupon code there as well, too. Zakarilius10 to save 10% off everything there on the site. So thank you guys so much for your support. And until next time, hope you guys all have a great day and just have some fun painting. Enjoy it. So see you guys later. Bye, guys.